What's up, everyone? It's Michelle Alexandria coming at you with a review. It's not a review. I don't know what this is, but I want to take a look at the Apple TV 4K. I want to show you once again why I really do love the Apple TV 4K. It's been a while since I've done a, an Apple TV weekly update thingy. So I just wanted to show you the new feature on the Apple TV that I really love right now, and that is the Dolby Atmos. So let me take a cup, a uh, cup of a sip of water here, and I'm going to walk you through this. So, as I repeatedly said, the reason why I love the Apple TV is one, all the great deals you can get. So right now they have Family Movie Night for $9.99. You can get The Nightmare Before Christmas, and it's just in HD. Well, actually, I think it's in 4K HDR, but for some reason, I only have it in. HD, so that sucks. Um, so let's go through this, see what's available. Eighth grade is a movie I really want to watch at some point, so I may have to rent this. It's, the problem is, the stuff is so cheap, I don't want to rent it. It's easier just to take a chance and buy it for $14.99 versus renting for $5.99. So one of the things I've been doing lately is instead of renting and getting stuff on the Apple TV, I'm trying to save some money. And like I've told you in the past, I don't necessarily 100% necessarily trust digital only. So I'm kind of like over buying digital only stuff for, for a while. So I've actually taken a renting. And I prefer renting stuff through uh, 3dblu-rayrental.com because then I can have 10 movies, 10 movies a month, and it's only $27, which is cheaper than buying these movies individually. And the problem with digital is I don't necessarily know um, if my 4K HDR format is going to be there tomorrow if I bought it today. So that's the main reason why I'm a little iffy on that, and I don't want to get locked into a single service. But one of the things I do love about iTunes is I buy it on iTunes and it actually plays on Vudu, so about 85% of the time, which is really nice. Whereas it's annoying, but you buy stuff on Vudu now, it won't even go to iTunes most of the time. And that's kind of pretty sucky. It, it really is. So anyway, I'm going to try to get in. Let's dive into this. See what's, what's new on the App Store in the movie session. They have... New Filmmaker spot, Spotlight, uh, sorry to bother you. Hmm, I may have to check that out. Mamma Mia, here we go again. Yeah, I hate I hate it to play in the musical, and I saw it with the original cast, and I saw the touring collection like four times. I mean, I like the music well enough, I just never actually watched the movie. And I have, I've had zero interest in watching the movie, and I definitely have zero interest in watching the sequel. So I'm not wasting my time with that. Uh, we have Hotel Transylvania 3. I haven't watched one or two, so I won't be watching that. And that's mainly because I'm just not a fan of American animated films. I, I'm just not. Uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp. It was good in theater. I enjoyed it the first time I watched it, but it's not a movie I'm going to end up watching again. And again, so I won't be buying this. Um, I'll just wait for this to come on HBO or something. But I have no interest in watching this movie again. Um, it was a it was a fine little movie, you know, and fun for what I watched it. But I'm not paying twenty dollars for this, and it's not even in HD. If I and it's not even in 4K. If I wanted in 4K, I actually have to go to Vudu, which is a service I'm really starting to hate, and it's tied to Walmart which is a company I absolutely despise. Um, but I have a large collection of Voodoo strictly because companies are still giving out codes on stupid Voodoo only. Voodoo only codes, and that's annoying. But if I want to buy the 4K HDR version, I got to buy it on Voodoo um, for $27, which is absolutely ridiculous. And um, as much as I love Disney and Disney's Movies Anywhere program, I think that's pretty shitty. I mean, if I bought the movie here for 20 bucks, the Voodoo version should be in 4K UHD. I shouldn't have to buy it specifically on Voodoo so I can get the 4K UHD version and pay the premium price, which is damn, which is basically the same cost as the physical disc. So you might as well wait two weeks, buy the physical disc, and then redeem your digital code that way. But the problem is, Disney has been really 
crappy lately where the digital code uh, from the disc actually does not redeem in 4K because I bought Solo. Um, I didn't buy Solo. Disney sent me Solo and I redeemed it in 4K. I redeemed the 4K version of Voodoo, but it only gave me the HD version. I'm like, what the, what the F? Just really, what the F? And there just needs to be some consistency to this stuff. So anyway, let's go back to movie, to movies so I can show you some other stuff. So right here. So this is the main reason why I want to do this video. Look at all the Adobe Atmos stuff that's available on iTunes. A lot of this stuff that's on Do Adobe Atmos, as someone tried to correct me, um, a lot of these, a lot of these movies really aren't in Dolby Atmos on um, on the on the on the physical version. So I'm pretty sure John Wick, I don't I don't know if John Wick is in Dolby Atmos, but anyway, I want to show you all the stuff that's available. I mean, it's pretty impressive. They have Sakaro, Red Sparrow, John Wick, Warrior, Red Dead, Red Two, American Sniper, and John Wick Two. So if Baby Driver. So you click on it, and they actually have HD Atmos as well. So, um, and I love the fact that the new iTunes uh, TV app now includes the little tag on the top right that says Dolby Atmos. Atmos. And screw you! I, I'm gonna I'm gonna call it Atmos. If you can't understand me, that's your issue, not mine. So right here in the corner, they now have they now have the tag. Adobe Atmos tag right here, Adobe Vision. So it's all about the double DDs, and and again, all of these movies are only nine are on sale for nine ninety nine, nine ninety nine. How about that, Baby Driver, Red, uh, The Legend of Target, Tarzan, American Assassins, Pets, Kingsman. I don't even own Kingsman Golden Circle. I I mean, well, no, I don't want to. I don't feel like watching this again. But nine ninety nine, that is that is pretty damn good. The Punisher, Logan, and this kind of tips me off because Logan, my copy of Logan, should be in four K HDR, but it's not. But you do get the HD Dolby Atmos, so that's pretty cool. So right up here where it says HD Dolby Atmos, so if you were wondering if Dolby Atmos will work with HD on on ATV, it actually does. So that's really nice. Uh, let's go. Let's finish. Red Operation Red Sea. Not sure what that is. Pistols haven't watched. Have no interest. Everest Power Rangers. San Andreas. And I actually have most of these movies already. So and then under ten under ten dollars. Look at this. Ready Player One. The Martian. Pacific Rim Uprisings. Assassin's Creed. So if you are a movie lover, you really should have an Apple TV because. If you want to build your collection, I mean, look how cheap all this stuff is. Man is still. Actually, I don't, I do not have this in 4K HDR, pretty sure. Oh, I do have it in 4K Dolby Vision HDR. Very, very nice. Again, all of, all of this stuff is under 10 bucks. Now, now, you go to Voodoo and see how much this stuff is. Actually, it should be cheap. So, but, and it's going to be, and Voodoo's actually going to, should have this stuff in Dolby Atmos as well. But this is really nice. I know some of this stuff is going to be exclusive. And actually for Snits, let's go over into Voodoo and see how much some of this stuff is. So, uh, A Quiet Place is $10, Great Showman is $10. So let's go to Voodoo and see how much it is. Because I don't know. Is it, is it going to be $10? It should be. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Movies, movies. Let's, I guess I got to search. A Quiet Place. There it is. Oh, A Quiet Place is on sale. Let's see. Rent on. And it's annoying that I bought this on I bought this on the iTunes store and it doesn't translate over. And there's no rhyme or reason to how that works. So yeah, it's fourteen it's fourteen ninety nine on Voodoo. 
and it's ten dollars on iTunes. Uh, let's go to let, let's check out. Oops. Oh, solo solo was ten dollars. So let's check out solo. How much is solo? Uh, go back to search. Come on. So solo is how much? Uh, I bought it, so there's no way to tell. Crap, crap, crap. So because I already bought it, there's no way for me to tell how much it actually is. Darn. Uh, let's see. Greatest show. Why can I not get this to work? I, oh, God, this is terrible. I was just looking for the bass base. This is, this is awful. So let, let me go here. Back. And then go Greatest Show, because I'm pretty sure I don't own that on Voodoo. Greatest, great, great, greatest, great. Ah, The Greatest Show. Boom, there we go. I love this soundtrack. Again, I own it, so I can't tell. I can't tell. Well, anyway, this experiment is a failed experiment because I own everything. So... So I'm going to end up going back here for a second. And there you go. So like Sakaro is 10 bucks. So yeah, this is a pretty amazing sale. Like if you don't own this stuff and you want to collect movies and you want your full double Ds with the Dolby Atmos and everything else, Jurassic World, $10. And then I know I don't own this. Oh, $14.99. And drama, Fernand, Ferdinand. Oh, the Peanuts, the Peanuts movie. I love this movie, but it's a movie I probably only want to watch once. But I love this movie. It looks beautiful. It sounds amazing. And it's the Peanuts. Come on, that's my childhood right there, people. Pain. I have never watched actually. I watched it in the theater. I liked it, but I've never watched it on 4K, and I need to, because it's supposed to be a reference disc. It's, it's, a, it's a movie that everyone, that's referenced and is used in all the promotional materials. So so one day, I need to sit down and finally watch Pan. I'm pretty sure it's gonna look, it, it looks gorgeous because there's some really colorful scenes in the end. And so yeah, I really like this. So let me take a look at, see what's on sale for four ninety nine this weekend. And that's the other great thing about Apple TV. They always have some kind of four ninety nine sale themed four ninety nine sale going on for the weekend. So let's see what it is this week. Ooh, Young Hollywood. Four ninety nine. Let's see what we get. Ooh, Super Eight. Ooh, I love Super Eight. Let's see. Do I own this? I should own Yep, I own it. I may have to watch this tonight. I love Super Eight. Uh, Detroit, I don't have and I should. And it's $4.99. I'm going to buy this. Detroit. Boom. And up, oh, I turned that feature off. So it makes me think a little bit before I want to click that final button. So I wanna, I'm going to cancel out of that. Let me change that because I miss being able to just hit my button and buy something. I don't like jumping through hoops. The bit sick. Hannah, I didn't like Hacksaw Ridge, good. Boyhood, overrated garbage. Well, I don't, I don't want to say garbage, but overrated. Ingrid Goes West, Manchester by the Sea, I hate it. Uh, Martin Scorsese, Silence. I've heard good things about this. I may have to buy that one. Chronicle, eh. I have not watched it since I saw it in the theater. Kick-Ass is one of my all-time favorite movies. Top like 30 favorite movies. If you haven't seen Kick Ass, it's $4.99. It's in 4K, Dolby Vision, Dolby Atmos. Buy this right now. Kick Ass 2. Um, I hate being, I hate it being inconsistent. So my Kick Ass 1 is in 4 get the double D's, but my Kick Ass 2 doesn't. What the hell? That's annoying. Um, so we have Dope, which is supposed to be really good. Nerve. 
Persevere Wallflower is awesome. It's an awesome, awesome movie. I I watched this like four or five times. I love this movie. The death is awesome. And it's $4.99. Highly recommend it. Scott Pilgrim vs. The World is overrated. I hate that movie. Well, hate is a strong world where After Earth is criminally underrated. And, and the reason why people hate this movie is because of the irrational hatred of Jada P uh, the Smiths. But I actually really like this movie. I thought it was a solid sci-fi drama. Edge of 17. I really love this movie, but the ending pissed me off because the ending basically said at the end of the day, all this trouble girl needed was a man. And it pissed me off to no end. And I'm going to buy this, but the ending just, because she was this strong, tough girl who who was, you know, who she she was, Haley Stanfield is amazing in this movie. And she was this, this tall, this strong, tough girl. And at the end of the day, it was basically all she needed was a man to be happy. And that message just really pissed me off. Attack the block, I want to get. And I have like $30 worth of credit so on iTunes. So I may go to town here and buy Attack, Attack the Block because I never saw it. It's supposed to be really good. I'll buy The Edge of 17. And I will probably buy, uh, what was it? Detroit. I will buy that. And I think I own Chronicle. So those will probably be my next five buys with my, with my credit. And then let's see what else we have. Paper Towns. I gotta watch this. Maybe I'll watch this, uh, this weekend. Atonement is a movie I hated, and at the time I got so much crap for it. If you guys want a really amazing movie to watch this weekend, Sing Street. Sing Street is awesome. This movie is funny, it has a great soundtrack, it's uplifting, and it's just really fun. It's, a, it's about, it's about a, a, this geeky kid in London who decides to form a band and attract a girl. And that's what it is. And basically uses all these 80s music as a um, as inspiration for his bad band. And the music is actually really good. Oh, the original Star is Born. How is this on the Young Hollywood? How does this fall on the Young Hollywood? And it's not 99. It's not, it's not... That's the one thing I hate when they start mixing stuff up. When they start missing this stuff up, that drives me nuts. So anyway, that's pretty much it. You can tell I'm losing interest in this video, as I'm sure you all are. So anyway, I'm going to get out of here and talk to you guys later. Bye. <laughs> I'm in a good mood today. Bye.